I'm Ian Nuttall. I started uh, in business in 1976. I'd been doing rallying and a bit of racing for myself and uh, got going doing bodywork. I mean, it was called Ian Nuttall Specialist Bodyworks. Well, I did the racing only for myself and the rallying initially. And then what happened was people came to me and said, oh, would you do this on my car and would you do that? And I, that got a little bit more in depth. And then what happened was I went to a um, historic meeting and went with a Cooper Bristol to try it out for a customer at Donington and tried it out and thought, oh, this is good fun. And that got me hooked. So I said, oh, well, you know, I'll have a look at doing the Bristol race engines. And that's how it started doing those. I started working at in racing in 2009, officially. I suppose unofficially started uh, a lot earlier when I was working for my dad at circuits when I was very small. Obviously our business is known for running race cars, but what most people don't know is actually we can do everything in-house. From chassis setup, chassis building, chassis dynamics, all the way through to engine, gearbox, diff, bodywork, painting, rolling road, finished testing. Aside from the racing, we also do road cars. We don't specifically do any type of road car. We actually obviously specialise a bit in Bristol engine road cars, but we do all road cars. If you've got a classic road car, we can help you from start to finish. We would be able to sit down with you and look at what needed doing to that car that we've purchased, a proper overview of where it can be improved and where it needs to stay the same. For instance, if the engine needed a bit more power or the gearbox wasn't quite good enough, then we can upgrade every little part. We have a variety of cars in the workshop at the moment with a variety of histories and ages. The, like a 1959 Lotus 15, uh, 1955 replica C-Type, uh, 1959 Cooper T51, 1952 Cooper Bristol, 1960 AC Seeker, so a, a wide variety of cars that we, we're working on. So we've been doing some uh, big ground up projects over the last couple of years. Uh, we've got an XK120 that was imported back from America just for the restoration. Once we finish the restoration, it'll be going back over there. It's literally been stripped to nothing and we're upgrading parts and redoing every bit needed and it will be test driven in the UK before being shipped over back to the US. 1953 Coupe Bristol that is owned and raced by uh, Christopher Phillips. We've been looking after this one for a few years, but it's had a bit of an engine refresh over the last winter and some more suspension changes. We've got a, a prototype Bristol 404 in at the moment, which hasn't had much work done to it in the past, which is obviously nice to find. Originally, it had a fin on the back, which we're trying to recreate based on the pictures. We've got more heavily involved in Bristol engines over the past 20 years, and we've actually gone into remanufacturing of all, all the individual parts. So we're trying to keep Bristol's running around the world. This is a chassis of a 1953 Mark II Coupe Bristol. It's the second incarnation, so it's a space frame rather than a ladder from the Mark I Coupe Bristol, which was the first front engine Grand Prix car that Cooper produced. So we're currently building the seat for the car right now, and the rest of the car will come together very quickly, as obviously we have the engine and gearbox ready to go. The corners we can put on quite quickly, so it could be on the rolling road in a couple of weeks. If you come here with a Bristol car, we can take the engine out, take the gearbox out, we can upgrade the diff to have a limited slip diff, we can upgrade the gearbox to have synchro gears, we can upgrade your engine, we can change the compression ratio, cam shafts, from any perspective, from a road car up to a full race spec. Ultimately, your road car will have more torque, more power. We can tailor it to any need. Some people only want full race. That is no, no use on the road. Obviously Bristol engines are known to be in Bristol cars up to the end of the 60s but they were actually put into a lot of other smaller production models like AC Aces, Lister Bristols, Tajiro Bristols, Cooper Bristols. We've got to a stage where we've got a good comprehensive catalogue of all the Bristol parts that we do. This covers 95% probably of all the engine parts which is slowly getting bigger all the time. This is partly due to the fact that we're running out of original spares to use that we've recycled in the past. All the parts that we do are machined in-house and built up 
and sent out from our premises here in Nottingham. We've developed all the parts in our catalogue to try and be interchangeable with the original parts in the engine. So if somebody in Australia needs a small part, like a valve spring retainer, we can do that and it will directly match with the original parts. We've not tried to force people into buying a complete engine from us, although obviously that is definitely possible, but we would like to keep all of the engines running, whether it needs a new head, a new valve or a complete block, crank, piston rods. Everybody here has a huge amount of passion to work on the old cars and keep the manufacturing and the cars going for the future. These skills that they've learned over a long period of time, some of them been here 15 years plus to 20 years, they are passing on to the younger guys here in the workshop. Being so busy in the workshop, we end up having too many cars and not enough space. So we've built our own storage facility, which is climate controlled and underfloor heated. Another of the iconic British sports cars from the early 50s that ran the Bristol engine was the Fraser Nash. This Tiger Florio here is uh, an earlier model, 1953. For the last couple of years, we've been looking at developing an alloy Bristol engine block. This is a significant weight saving on the original blocks and actually for the last 2,000 miles this car has been running with one in it. Obviously not FIA approved but we're hoping to promote into the sports car market.